Well, it was fitting we had a hound at Hens in Hounds night, but it might have smelled a little bit like wet dog after the rain downtown. Taking on Iowa, Bob the first, Colt Keith doubles, Tyler Nevin, deep drive off the wall that drives in Keith. Nevin goes two for four with three RBI, Toledo in the lead. Go to the fifth inning, now a 3-2 game. Keith, his third hit of the game, drives in Wenzel Perez, Colt Keith four for five on the game as the Hens would blow it open. Andre Lipsius a three RBI triple in the 11-6 victory. Matt Melzek and Jim Weber, the hits keep on coming for these Hens. All right, thanks out here at Fifth Third Field where the Hens offense, Jim, just continues to produce the month of August. They came in averaging just under eight runs a game. That's going up. Mm -hmm after tonight's performance. Well, you know, once you get on a roll, sometimes it's easy to keep it going. It's lo it's usually harder to get them started. But then, you know, you had everybody chipping in again. Uh, Colt Keith had four hits tonight. Uh, you've been talking about how many hits per game we've been getting the runs. I mean, it's quite a run that's taking place right now. And with the record of 18 and seven in one month, that's pretty good. Yeah, it certainly <laughs> is really good. Hens you know, trying to keep alive maybe here in that second half standing. There's a lot of teams in between them and possibly make it a playoff. But you know what? They're just playing good baseball right now. And I think right now it's put it to bed. This is the best they've played all year. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I kept talking about At least about offensively. April. Yeah, I mean, April, you know, 17-9 and nine with that one game in March. But this is going to be a little bit better the way it looks. And especially when you have guys like Wenzel Perez and Dylan Dingler, guys we never expected to have this year. Yeah, Colt Keith, another one who had, as Jim mentioned, the big performance tonight, going four for five. The key moment in this game was the Hens rebounding after it looked like Iowa was going to cut the game close. You know, they had a chance to get back into the game. Mud Hens right away end up pulling away again. They had a couple more in the eighth inning to make this game a no doubter in the ninth. You know, they had, uh, what, five runs on just two hits because they hit a couple long balls. You know, normally when you're out hitting somebody 10 to 3 or 10 to 4 or whatever, you're going to be way out in front. But they made a game of it for a while. Yeah, they certainly <laughs> did. But the Mud Hens start the series off on a winning note as they continue this great run in the month of August.